The Cameron County Emergency Management Office working to limit the damage as flood water from Hidalgo County flows to the coast. Channel 5's Rudy Mireles live in Santa Rosa with what's being done right now. Rudy. Well, Oscar, like Andrew was just saying about uh, flooded roads, that is a reality here in Santa Rosa at the corner of Sesso and Louisiana roads, where we're seeing high profile vehicles uh, barely making it through. Uh, back to my right here, you can see a, a car that was not so lucky. Now, a couple of miles north of us right now is a pumping operation underway. And earlier today, we got to walk through Cameron County's Emergency Operations Center to get a briefing on those operations, as well as a closer look at a new app that residents can use to report damage from to their homes from Hanna or other future weather events in real time. In northern Cameron County, residents know what usually happens in the days after a hurricane or any heavy rains, flooding. With waters currently in what emergency management professionals call negative flow, Cameron County EM planner Gracia Lucio explains what the county has to do to prevent things from worsening. We have about 15 pumps at the moment that are operating over by the Contour Road on this side. So this is a floodway right here. So we're trying, and there's a levee at this point. So what we're trying to do is remove all the flooding or all the water from the city of Santa Rosa that affects obviously coming down to Primera and Combs on this area over the levee on this site. Inside the Emergency Operations Center, things are at a rare standstill as the team meets in a separate office with the Texas Department of Emergency Management. The two agencies coming together to provide an app for Cameron County's residents a rapid, real-time data collection tool for reporting storm damage. Lucio says it's important that residents fill out the app and encourage others with property damage to do so as well. It's just for us to be collecting data so we can go ahead and format something and send it uh, to FEMA. Uh, so we can get FEMA to come down so they can do their own damage assessments to, see, to, to view the area, to do their assessments on their own. Residents can fill out the form quickly and even add photos of the damage to the website making it easy and fast to submit without needing to come in person. Usually a hands-on type of field, she says this is just one of many coronavirus-driven tech upgrades the emergency management office is taking. It's the first time that we're actually using this app. Last year we were not utilizing. Obviously everybody was actually coming down to uh, using uh, their own assessments or in-person assessments. Obviously because of the pandemic we're trying to make this a little bit uh, more accessible to everybody. Um, uh, just via phone you can go ahead and uh, do your own damage assessment. Now, Lucio says that while she hopes and the team hopes that this is the worst Cameron County sees compared to what our neighbors up north and out west got, that residents still need to use this time to prepare for the next weather event and also to learn that that new system is how they're going to report damage in the future. If you or someone you know has damage to their home as a result of Hurricane Hannah, you can visit CameronCounty.us to find out how to fill out that form and get the help that you need. Live in Santa Rosa, Rudy Mireles, Channel 5 news at six.